Good morning, my dear students of class 10. How are you? I hope you all are fine there and ready for a studying social study class with a pen and pencil. This is me, Dinesh Karki, your social study teacher. And for almost 30 minutes, I'll be with you for exploring and discussing about the social study. So are you ready? Are you excited to join the social class? If you are ready, then let's get started. Today is the first day, my dear students, so we'll begin from unit number one. Uh, unit number one is we and our society, and the first lesson is human resource development. My dear students, before I begin the class, I would like to ask you one question. All right, think and answer, you have 30 seconds. What do you mean by human resource? Please rack your brain, brain and think, you have 30 seconds, yes. What do you mean by human resource? Okay, so stop. Okay, I will explain about the human resource. Then after you will match whether you are right or wrong. Boys and girls, human resource means human power, human skill, or human intelligence, which is used, which is required for uh, carrying out any work, which is known as human resource development. Let's generalize it. Boys and girls, let's observe our society. All right? Your society is changeable. Your society keeps on changing. In the past, our society was different. All right? And imagine today, your society is different. In the past, there were not the development of technology. There were not the developed roadway system. There were not too much development. But today, let's see. You know, you have advanced world. You have modern hospitals. You have modern roads. And you have modern technology. All right? In this period, so many changes have taken place. Okay, you are right. I'm concerning about the positive and progressive change of the development. Progressive and positive change, which is known as development. My dear students, two minutes ago, I had asked you, what do you mean a human resource? Now, I'm going to connect you to the point. All right, we want development. Everybody wants development. But you tell me, what are the resources are to be required for the development? Yeah, you are right. Natural resources, okay, you are right. Financial resources, but among them, one is very, very important resources there. That is human resource develop, human resource. You are right, absolutely. Boys and girls, imagine if you have finance, if you have money, if you have budget, you have natural resources, but if you don't have human resource, can you think, can you imagine, can you do development in the society? No, absolutely not. So to carry out any development work, you know, you need human resource, all right? So let's generalize, let's conclude. To carry out any type of work, you know, human mind is required, human intelligence is required, human power is required, human effort is required, which is known as human resource, you know. Uh, anyone may ask you, who do you mean by human resource? Then don't get confusion. Human resource means human power, human mind, human intelligence, which is required to carry out any work, which is known as human resource development. Boys and girls, let's talk about the human resource, all right? Uh, I'll give you some examples like entrepreneur, like doctor, like engineer, like pilot. Yes, you are also right. Engineer, doctor, pilot, mason, carpenter, even farmer, even general worker, even porter, even electrician astronaut, cameraman, 
an electrical engineer, journalist, political leaders, bureaucrat, planner, yes, you are right, administrator. These all manpower are required for carrying out a development work. Boys and girls, you can see an image of a group of engineers, all right? Nepali entrepreneurs. Nepali entrepreneurs, sorry. So, Nepali entrepreneur, what's the role of entrepreneur? The role of entrepreneur is to run industries, all right? Why? What's the importance of industries? If there is an industry, then they can produce quality goods, all right? Then after, if there is a quality goods, if the entrepreneurs produce the quality goods, then we can export these quality goods. Then after, we can earn money, all right? If our country earns money, then there will be economic development, all right? And then if there is economic development, then we can uplift every aspect of the development. That's why, you know, entrepreneurs play a vital role for the development. So entrepreneurs are very, very important. All right? Like doctor. Okay, can you imagine without doctor, is life possible? No, you are not. Okay, let's observe the current situation. Whole world has been suffering from corona pandemic, COVID-19. Who are fighting? Yes, you are right, doctors, medical persons. They are fighting with the coronavirus and they have been protecting the lives of the people. All right? So we need doctors. Doctors play a vital role. All right? And they are fighting with the coronavirus and we are here safe. All right? Similarly, so many, so many manpower are there, like engineers, all right? Engineer, what is the role of engineer? Yes, you were right. Construct road, building, and then after uh, designing new machines, invent new technology, they actually work, and which has made our life very comfortable. All right. So, boys and girls, let me quickly revise. You know, so many human resource, human mind, human intelligence. You know, which is known as uh, human resource. They are required to carry out developmental work. All right. So, if anyone asks you, then I think you got the point. You have understood now. If anyone asks you, what do you mean by human resource? Then you can answer now. You should answer any kind of human power any kind of human resource, right? Any kind of human intelligence, human effort, which is required for carrying out any development work is known as human resource development. Know the point, all right? You, if anyone may ask you, right, about the uh, definition, about the meaning of the human resource, then you should answer it. So let me quickly switch uh, it into Nepali language. Mera pyara pyara vidyarthi bhai mnaru, manav samsadhan bane ko kyo ta? Hey, man of some sudden, Baniko say, Kuni Pani Bikasko Kari, Russian Chalan Gornogulagi, Chine, Man of Yashakti, Jana Shakti, eh, Lysia Milisi, a man of some sudden, Jana Shakti, Banerbanzo. Tommy Bear, which are Gornos, the Kuni Pani Kari, some Padan Gornoglagi, Amisanga Poisa, Hermatri Unzada, Tommy Bizar Gornos, Mudena. Tabasanga Poisa, sir, Taratabasanga Manse China, Cam Gorn Manse China, Vene, Topanko Kuni Pani Kari, some Panona Saktaina. अब उदाहरणको लागि मलाई हेर्नुस् अहिले यहाँ नेरी पैसा भएर अरु स्रोत साधन भएर पनि यहाँ नेरी म अथवा क्यामेराम्यान अथवा कुनै पनि टेक्निकल मान्छे नभएको भने देखि यो क्लास सम्भव हुन्थ्यो त हुँदैन थियो नि त तपाईहरु विचार गर्नुस् त्यस कारणले गर्दाखेरि भाइ बहिनीहरु कुनै पनि कार्य सम्पादन गर्नको लागि चाहिने चाहिँ जनशक्तिलाई चाहिँ हामी के भन्छौ मानव संसाधन भनेर भन्छौ र कुनै पनि कार्य सम्पादन गर्नको लागि तपाई कल्पना गर्नुस् ल खेती गर्नुहुन्छ भने तपाईलाई के चाहियो किसान चाहियो I know, Camber Rupani Chai, Southern Banda Southern Camber Rupani Chai, I know. Tesagari, 
तपाई चाहिँ निर्माण गर्नुहुन्छ भने तपाईलाई को को चाहिन्छ त भन्दा कामदार चाहियो हैन अनि मेसन चाहियो त्यसैगरी प्लम्बर चाहियो हैन इन्जिनियर पनि चाहियो प्लानर पनि चाहियो है त यी सबै मान्छेहरु चाहिन्छ तपाई यदि बैंकमा काम गर्नुहुन्छ भने कल्पना गर्नुस् बैंकमा के के चाहिन्छ अकाउन्टेन्ट पनि चाहिन्छ हैन म्यानेजर पनि चाहिन्छ है त अनि अकाउन्टेन्ट पनि चाहिन्छ ती सबै भए भने चाहिँ के हुन्छ त बैंकको कामहरु गर्न सकिन्छ हैन भाइ भनेर जस्तो यसैगरी अब हस्पिटलमा हुनुहुन्छ तपाई हामी सबै जना लकडाउनमा छौ हैन अहिले चाहिँ कोरोना पेन्डेमिक चलिरहेछ यस्तो बेलामा चाहिँ हामीलाई डाक्टर नर्सेस हैन चिकित्सक स्वास्थ्य परिचारिकाहरु ले चाहिँ हाम्रो हामीलाई उपचार गरिरहनु भएको छ उहाँहरु चाहिँ यो कोरोना महामारी सँग फाइट गरेर चाहिँ के गरिरहनु भएको छ त भन्दाखेरि बिरामीहरुको उपचार गरिरहनु भएको छ हैन स्वास्थ्य सेवा प्रदान गरिरहनु भएको छ त्यसले गर्दाखेरि उहाँहरु पनि के हो त मेन पावर हो त्यसै साधारण भन्दा साधारण भरिया देखि भारी बोक्ने भरिया देखि लिएर है साधारण भन्दा साधारण कामदार देखि लिएर अनि डाक्टर इन्जिनियर पायलट हामी चाहिँ चिकित्सक अभियन्ता विमान चालक यी सबैलाई चाहिँ हामी एक मुष्टमा चाहिँ के भन्छौं त भाइ बहिनीहरु मानव संसाधन भनेर भन्छौं लेट मी क्विकली स्विच माय ल्याङ्ग्वेज इन्टु इंग्लिश यु नो टु क्यारी आउट एनी काइन्ड अफ डेभलपमेन्ट वर्क यु नो ह्युमन पावर इज रिक्वायर्ड ह्युमन इन्टेलिजेंट इज रिक्वायर्ड यु नो ह्युमन माइन्ड इज रिक्वायर्ड ह्युमन एफर्ट इज रिक्वायर्ड व्हिच इज नोन एज ह्युमन रिसोर्स आइ थिंक यु गट द आइडिया ऑल राइट यु हैव अंडरस्टूड एन्ड यु हैव नोट डाउन द पॉइंट एज वेल my dear students okay so let's uh, talk about the category of the human resource all right yeah of course uh, you know so many men power are there and we can study the men power dividing into two group two part all right one is human resource one the basis of skill and another is human resource on the basis of tom okay my dear students let's begin human resource on the basis of skill okay before i go ahead i would like to ask you who do you mean by skill yeah you are right you are thinking you have 30 seconds yeah you are going to the right direction boys and girls okay you are right now skill means any ability to conduct the work which is known as skill all right and to carry out any work skill is required all right so boys and girls my dear students of class 10 you know human resource uh, can be uh, categorized on the basis of skill into three i mean human resource on the basis of skill can be discussed under three part under three category first one is human resource uh, unskilled human resource unskilled men power yeah of course uh, and second is semi skilled men power and third is skilled men power boys and girls now who is unskilled men power you may ask sir everyone has a skill so how can we say that you know they are on skilled men power or he is on skilled men power she is on skilled men power yes yeah you are right boys and girls everybody has a skill but though even though they work to carry out their work manually without using uh, any kind of ability which is known as on skilled men power uh, for example let me tell you for example like potter in pokhara lake site you might have seen potters carrying uh, transporting goods uh, keeping on their soldiers from one place to another all right potter yeah of course they have a skill but they don't use it they do it manually all right so potter they potter can be taken as on skilled men power suppose for example you are working in the field imagine general labors are required right so like a plowman plowman of course he has a skill but he doesn't use it do it without a skill manually all right so plowman all right plowman can be taken as on skill men power like paper folder right right paper folder also can be taken as uh, on skill men power keep in mind in exam or 
your teacher might ask you when school re will reopen, then what do you mean by unskilled? What are the examples? Then you should be ready to answer. Yes, skill, unskilled manpower means people who have uh, skill or who don't have skill or they do their work manually without using skill. They are called uh, unskilled manpower. You should answer this way, all right? And keep in mind, write down, you know, example, poacher, general laborers, all right? Paper folder also you can write, plant harvester also you can write, okay? So these are called unskilled manpower. Dear students, it's, uh, I'm, uh, it's pathetic to say that if you look at the statistical record of Nepal, then vast majority of the people in Nepal are unskilled, all right? That's why our country is lagging behind, all right? Government has to think upon it, we have to think upon it, and we have to gain the skills. All right, let's switch on to semi-skilled manpower. My dear students, okay, before I begin the, uh, begin discussing about uh, the semi-skilled manpower, I would like to ask you, what do you mean by semi-skilled manpower? Yeah, you are right. You are going to the right direction. Semi-skilled manpower means uh, manpower, people who have gained the skill through training but they are not expert, they don't have expertise, all right? They don't have a specification in this section, but they can carry out the skills which they have get in the training. They are called semi-skilled manpower, all right? For example, you have an electricity problem, right, in your home. Suddenly your uh, circuit uh, has gone something wrong, has got something wrong maybe fuse problem, all right? So at that time, you can, ca you can call electrician. Electrician can come and get repaired, the things. But the electrician doesn't know entire theory of the thing. He cannot explain about the technicality of all, but he can repair it, all right? Means what? He is semi-skilled, she is semi-skilled manpower, all right? Semi-skilled means manpower who have attain who have get the training uh, and they have get attain the skill by training they are called semi skilled manpower in this is very important uh, topic my dear students please note down what are the examples in se a question likely to ask you uh, categorize the manpower on the basis of skill with examples at that moment if question is asked like this then you have to write the example as well so uh, on semi-skilled manpower example means electrician, keep in mind, electrician, and second is mason, right, you can write it, plumber, yeah, you can write it, okay, so electrician, plumber, barber, mason, these manpower are called semi-skilled manpower because they have get this skill, they have attained this skill by the, by training, all right, but they don't have the expertise in this field. I hope you got the idea. I hope you have noted the point and you have noted the example. All right, now let's switch to the skilled manpower. My dear students, uh, comparatively, you know, we have very less, you know, uh, skilled manpower in the world, right? Whereas America, Japan, and England, China, they have vast majority of the skilled manpower, but just opposite, we have very less skilled manpower, and yet, and they have been going abroad in search of the job. So our country doesn't have, you know, much uh, skilled manpower, all right, due to which our country uh, has not been able to develop in a proper and standard way, all right. Okay, this is the truth, this is the fact, all right? So, boys and girls, let's talk about the skilled manpower. Who are called skilled manpower? You might have learned in the previous class also. Skilled manpower means manpower, right? People who have get expertise, specific knowledge in a certain field after having, after, uh, you know, completing their uh, long research long academic, uh, you know, period. For example, suppose, uh, you know, some people are studying MBS degree, right? Master degree in medicine, 
Uh, some people are studying in engineering field, all right? And some people have done PhD in economics. Some people have done PhD in medical field, all right? Uh, I mean, people who have spent their long period of time in study, in research in a certain field, and they have get certain specific expertise, and they can do their work individually, you know, independently. Such manpower are called, such manpower are called skilled manpower, all right? Uh, so, my dear students, uh, can you give me some examples of skilled manpower, right? Yes, you are right. Doctors, engineers, pilot, economist, leader, political leader, all right, and uh, astronaut, computer engineer, all right, you are right. So, these people are called skilled manpower. My dear students, please note down the examples, okay? Uh, uh, the example of skilled manpower is doctor, engineer, pilot, all right, and administrator, manager, economist. These are the example of skilled manpower. Dear students, uh, so uh, let me uh, explain a little bit in Nepali. By Binero, you man of some sadal, man of some sadal line. I mean, uh, sheep ka adar ma tin baag ma baad reyachu. Euta chhi, bilkule sheep na baay ko. Hami tella chhi Nepali ma adakshya jana sakti banero banchu. Aita pratik mancharu sanga kamdar aur sang sheep se unza by Binero. Firi timi le so dola sar sabi manchar sang sheep unza kosari unda ina. Timi le sai banero. Sheep se unza tarah. This is the case of the project. Just to the case of the project, the project is the case of the project. The project is the case of the project. The project is the case of the project. The project is the case of the Sip Nagar, Kiri Sipi Prek Nagarikanazi, Garson Moke with Aran Kulagi Bible Ladinsu, Kandaru, Ani Bariar, let's say, I mean, Sip Noveka, a man Sierusi, Banera, Ami Bansu, Tesagari, Abo Adosu Regusa, or the Doxa, or the Doxa, Banaxi Bavinaru, Adi Sip Sip Baiko, Aitara Usli to his Talim Bata, Sipsi, Prapta Gareko, Aita. This time, I mean, are the doctors and Saktiban. So, I mean, are the doctors and Saktiban. He doesn't have expertise in this field, right? He doesn't have such a skill, intelligence in this field. But he has a skill which he has get through training and he can do work, but he cannot explain, he doesn't uh, have an expertise. Such a human resource is known as semi skilled manpower, all right, my dear students. Uh, and uh, now come to the next uh, skill mentor again. The people who have, you know, certain expertise, and they have get this expertise after this long period of study, right? Uh, a long period of investigation and research. Then they are called uh, the skilled manpower. By the my very exotic, very halka doorey dinchu, ay ra halka doorey dinchu. Uh, right? Human power, human effort, human intelligence is uh, known as human resource, which is required for carrying out any kind of development work, okay? For example, doctor, engineer, pilot, farmer, uh, electrician, mason, carpenter, all right? The similarly, uh, we have categorized uh, manpower into uh, two, one the basis of skill, keep in mind, one the basis of skill, and one the basis of term. And one the basis of skill I have discussed, uh, one the basis of skill, we can categorize human power into three, unskilled, unskilled means labor, right, and porter, and uh, semi-skilled means people who have get skill through training, but he, they don't have expertise. They are called semi-skilled. For example, mission, carpenter, electrician, 
all right, and skilled manpower, people who have get their expertise in a certain field after long research, after long investigation, and long history, all right, and they have expertise, and they can do their work manually, sorry, independently, they are called, uh, they are called uh, skilled manpower, all right, they are called, and uh, they are very, very important for carrying out the development work, all around, all around development work. My dear students, uh, the clock of our study is saying, saying that timing is running out. So this much only today. I hope this class has been very fruitful to you, light wearing true uh, to you, and helpful in exploring about, learning about certain skills uh, is to a human resource, definition of a human resource, category of human resource, types of human resource on the basis of skill. Uh, definitely you have understood. If you have any queries, then you can comment in our Janta television uh, Facebook page also you can put your comment and you can give me the feedback about the class. Next time I will come back with a social study class at the same time, uh, at the same day on same day. Uh, I hope uh, you have enjoyed the class. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay away from the corona and follow the guidelines issued by the government against the coronavirus. Stay safe, have a nice See you next time. Till then, goodbye. Namaste.